Hello, we're going to make a stinger fuselage. Now I'm going to show you all the steps that I go through while I'm making a stinger fuselage. I'll mix up epoxy, I'll lay in fiberglass cloth, and I'll join the two halves, and we'll be done. This may be a two, three, or four part video. I'm not sure how many parts will come out in. I have to break it down into 10 minute segments. But I'll be getting started here in a couple minutes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I've got one pump of West Systems 105 uh, resin and 205, sorry, 209 hardener. I've got 50 minutes of pot life Probably a little bit more because the temperature in this room is cool. Although the lights are making it a little warm, so I may lose a little time. I'm going to have to open up the room and turn on the fan. What I'm going to make first is the filler I use around the edges. I take some quartz micro balloons. Use quite a bit of micro balloons to bulk it up, saves weight, and it's still running. Micro balloons is not thixotropic, that means it does not thicken the epoxy. It thickens it to a degree, but it doesn't make it a non sagging mixture. <clears throat> what I use make it a non-saggy mixture it's called microfibers a lot of guys use catacil catacil does the same thing microfibers is stronger and since I'm putting this stuff in at the edges I like a little extra strength microfibers cost a little bit more but you get stronger it kind of kind of makes the micro balloons weakening effect less. I keep mixing in micro balloons until until the mixture starts to get somewhat thick but still running. <coughs> I should be wearing a respirator or a mask. I'm doing this faster than usual because of the video. I have a little spoon from a ice cream shop and I happen to know that it takes two to three of these spoons heaping spoons of microfibers to get the consistency I want for my filler kind of depends on how many micro balloons you put in so you kind of have to adjust it I'm going to be putting this in glue syringes to squirt into the edges easily. See it's still sagging. So I'm going to go ahead and go with about another half a heaping teaspoon. That should be enough. It's pretty thick now. These mixing sticks from from uh, West Systems are really convenient, and if you wipe them off as you use them, you can just keep reusing them, or you can fill off with hardened epoxy after you've used them. I take an artist spatula and load glue into. These syringes I buy them at Woodcraft, like five bucks for ten or so. Now reuse the syringes, clean them out with acetone. Just because the rubber 
sales in are a pain to get set up to use with the epoxy. Not really, but I just don't like wasting the syringes. <coughs> syringes up because I'm going to do two halves since I'm using the slower epoxy for this layup I'm going to do two, two halves with one batch of filler normally I would do one batch of filler per half if I was using a faster epoxy but <clears throat> since I'm doing the video and should have a little bit more working time. We'll find out if I have enough working time or not. If I don't, you won't see the video. So now I have two syringes loaded up with filler. <coughs> 